Hey, it's Anthony. It is late. I just got done watching the Mavericks game, so I'm hyper and I'm excited because we came back and killed. A little prideful tonight. Uh, shout out to one of my favorite churches that I get to go to on the road. I'm messed up, jacked up, and I am loved. They are that kind of church. Church by the Glades in Coral Springs, Florida. Hey, I hope you're doing all right. I wanted to share something with you real quick on this little, uh, these little video blogs that I do. I had a thought. Over the past three weeks, I've been on this diet. I set goals for myself, and I go by this template that's ridiculous, but I have some goals in a frame in my room, and uh, I'll, I'll spare you the details of all of them, but just for me, this year in my life, I want to practice discipline, and one of those disciplines is not eating crazy when I'm on the road, because everybody's always got something good for me to eat, so I decided I'm going to work on that, but... It takes a lot of discipline, and it's been real hard. So, but I've been sticking to it. I'm in week. I'm in day 22, and uh, it. Ha but it's it's getting easier. But at first, it was not easy. I set these goals, and it was easy to do right when I had it all all sussed out in front of me. But I then I went into real life, and I sat down at Cheesecake Factory with a friend of mine. He ordered a burger and fries. I ordered a bowl of lettuce, literally a bowl of lettuce with some olive oil and some sea salt, because that went 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 along with this diet. His burger came, my lettuce came, I was miserable. The dude next to me got chicken alfredo and I was at one of the, 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 the tables that are real close so I could just smell it and feel the steam on my face from his chicken alfredo. And I was miserable. I was crunching on lettuce just mad. Just mad because I was eating lettuce. They were getting all this stuff. They were gonna leave feeling full and all that. And I was kind of feeling like, eh. But during that meal, what I thought, is this moment of me not giving in and taking taking part of, of Alfredo or, or, you know, the burger will keep me on track toward my goal. And although it may not feel as filling and may not be as immediate and may not give me the gratification that I'm looking for, ultimately, my goal is where, where I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to get to my goal. I'm not trying to feel this, this immediate thing. That's not what I really want. I really want my goal, which is to be healthy. Now, I, I immediately started to think and parallel that to my spiritual life. There are things in my life, in our lives, when it comes to us wanting to be uh, spiritually healthy, there are sacrifices that we have to make in a world that is putting out different kinds of Alfredos and different kind of burgers in our face all the time. And it's easy to take part of them and think, I'll just do this one time. And ultimately, we always leave that scenario feeling like, oh, I never want to do that again. I'm so full. And, you know, I can parallel that to whatever it is, sin in your life. <laughs> it's so easy to take part of, of that kind of stuff. Sorry, I got Twitter going now. I'm just, just hyper. I got stuff going on. Uh, but w what I want to communicate to you tonight in this uh, video blog is the sacrifice has been well worth it. I, I feel healthier. I, uh, I, I, you know, fit my stage clothes better. You know, all them tight clothes we wear on stage. I, 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 I'm in a, in a better place now because I made the sacrifice and I have been making the sacrifice over the past few weeks. So whatever in, in your life, if you're in a, in a phase where you've got a bunch of stuff around you that, that is immediately gratifying, but you know what you're supposed to be doing, stick with what you're supposed to be doing. And uh, he will be faithful to meet you, um, meet you in that. I heard uh, Joyce Meyer speak a few weeks ago at an event my sister was doing, or she was just attending. And she said, do what you can, and God will do what you can't. I think if we make the effort... To do, to do what we can, God will absolutely step in and fill in the hole. So discipline, pursue it, set a goal for yourself and make the sacrifices that it takes, even if it's getting up and walking out of that restaurant, whatever that means. And um, even if it's getting up and walking out, make that sacrifice and you'll be better for it. Thank you for visiting anthony-evans.com. And um, I'll be back again with a video blog because I got some more ideas coming. All right, we'll talk to you later.